Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today it's Wednesday, the 27th of May. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna make a start on some spraying on the spring wheat, a bit of a herbicide fungicide mix. So I'm gonna get the uh, JCB Fast Track warmed up while I have a coffee and then I'll get the spray filled up. So as per the recommendation from our agronomist, we're putting on a fungicide, Mirador Extra, and this stuff, Buddha, which is a herbicide for broad leaf weeds. Obviously when you're handling chemical, you've got to wear the right PPE. So gloves, face mask, and coveralls. Did a few comments about the uh, the fast track and the sprayer. It is a smart little setup. The fast track makes an excellent spraying tractor. It's very comfortable and uh, really getting on well with the bird tooth sprayer as well. It's a 1600 litre tank, so only does about 10 hectares per tank. So there's a bit of filling up, you know, going back to the yard to fill up, but. Um, doesn't really bother me, I quite like it this way. Uh, we have toyed with the idea of getting a bigger sprayer, probably a trail, sort of 4,000 litre size trail sprayer. Um, but we've also talked about uh, maybe going slightly bigger with our tram line. So we tram at 24 metres. So obviously if we did want to go any bigger, we did we did think of the idea of going to 30, and if we did, we'd obviously need a bigger sprayer. I'm never against change, if it means uh, being more productive. I suppose we would cover more ground with 30 metres of trams.
yet, just heading back for a fill up. I think what I'll do is probably only do a couple of more tanks today. It's gonna to get quite hot this afternoon. And if it's too hot when you're spraying, it does have a tendency to scorch the crop a little bit. So that's best avoided. There's no point rushing just to get the job done. It's gonna be quite calm over the next couple of days. So I'll just do a bit each morning this week, I think. Taking the dogs for a walk. I'm out in a bit of spring barley here and it's looking well considering how dry it's been we really really could do with a bit of rain now it had some nitrogen fertilizer on last week um we're not quite up to our limit so we could be putting a bit more on we are out of stock so we could order in some more and get that on but to be honest if it's going to stay so dry like this there's no point just chucking a load of money on it. Um, but it's a nice clean crop, it's looking well. Well, it's looking a little stressed in places, but considering how dry it is, it's not doing too bad. Let's just uh, keep our fingers crossed for a bit of rain soon. Um, so things pick up a little bit. You want a belly rub, don't you? You do? You crazy dog. Go on then. It worked? Yeah. What tractor do I use for spraying? Um, a Ford one. The Ford one? Yeah. No, I used a yellow one. What's the yellow one? A JCB. A JCB. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. And what colour's my sprayer? Blue. Blue. Yeah. Yeah, but I want your sprayer to be a different colour. You want, you want my sprayer to be a different colour? Yeah. Oh. So what colour is Daddy's Ford tractor? And what colour is that? Is John Deere tractor? Green. Yeah. Yeah, I paint green. Yeah? Yeah, you can help me out later. I'll help you later. Yeah. Okay, you be a good boy for mummy. Yeah, very dry, very hot. So me and Dad are just going to uh, head out in his truck. He's bought a new door, well, second-hand door for the Ranger. Driver's side, front driver's side. I opened it in the wind a couple of weeks ago and it bent the hinge back slightly. Um, my fault, I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm not normally breaking things, that's normally dad's job actually. Um, but then my uh, little boy went to open it the other day in uh, strong winds and it pff, just ripped back. So the hinges are a bit buggered. So we're gonna go pick up a second hand door um, and either use the hinges from the door or fit the door on, whatever's gonna be easiest when we uh, come to do the job, we'll figure it out. Well, I said, actually, that normally it's you who no, breaks not. something. No, 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 it's not. It is. I've only bent that workshop door. Well, not the door. The door's fine. More brick you took, you, Well, you took the wall out almost with the forks, didn't you? The teleporter forks. I, I, yes, I did. But uh, it's reasonable. Come yeah. on, I, I opened it in the wind. It, it, it caught it. Bent the hinges a bit, and then and then my, my lad finished the job the other day when he opened it in that really bad wind we had last week. Yeah, yeah it's um, <laughs> bent the wing and the, and the door. Anyway, the wing was a little bit rotten at the front, wasn't it? It was a bit, yeah. So if we so in a way, so we'll replace the wing. Yeah. And this door that you found on eBay, well, I would just use the hinges, or well, well I think we'll yeah. sort of see when we. It was, quite cheap, wasn't it? it was quite a cheap door, so it was worth getting even if we just used the hinges. Yeah, just yeah. up the road. So. Just up the road, so. Literally. How are you, uh, how are you getting on with your truck, your, your, your Navara? It's very good. It's a bit of a beast, isn't it? Dad's got some more garden waste um, than he's burning, so I'm gonna load up the trailer and I'll go and tip this at farm too.
they land it, it's horrible stuff. I'm not a fan. We were gonna chip a bit of it, but I don't think it's really worth the effort. Um, and like Casto said, the best thing for conifers is to uh, burn them. So <laughs> I'll tip this off, uh, take it back, load up one more load that I can bring over again tomorrow. I just hope it uh, comes out the trailer. It's a big bit, some of them, and uh, last time I, I tried to tip a load, they got stuck on the backboard, but uh, I think Dad put them in a bit better this time, so hopefully they'll come out. Yeah, so we can get all these bits rounded up when it comes to burning them. I think it's just easier that way. I think there's uh, two or three more loads, so over the next uh, few days or so, I'll bring it over. I'll just show you guys in here, while I'm here at farm too, this field here is um, one of the fields that was left set aside after harvest um, as part of a wildlife scheme. And this has now been sprayed off and as you can see it's dying off nicely there was a fair bit of black grass in here um so hopefully we've knocked it on the head i'll perhaps have to come back in a couple of weeks give it another dose make sure we're really really on top of it ready for the autumn ready for the next crop we also extended the margin in this field um and a few others as well as you can see you can see where the original margin was and where the new bit is that we drilled in the autumn. Just uh, wanted to widen that out. Um, again, as part of a, uh, a wildlife scheme. Um, oh, you can see how dry it is. These cracks here, look. We need the rain, don't we? Ah, fingers crossed we get a bit, but the outlook for the next month looks very, very dry. So I'll head back to the main farm now. We'll probably load up the trailer once more, uh, ready for another load tomorrow. Like I said, two or three more loads and we should have all that horrible Leylandy over here ready for a fire. Productive day. I like productive days. Uh, I'm just gonna go and shut a couple of field gates from where I was spraying earlier and uh, go and check on the ewes and lambs, check there, okay? Hello, coos. It's next door's cattle. Me and Dad have been toying with the idea for a uh, year or two of maybe getting a uh, few store cattle one year. Quite keen to give it a go. Um, yeah, well, cheers for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's very, very dry out there, so fingers crossed for a bit of rain. The crops could definitely do with a drink. Um, before I go, just want to do a couple of shout outs. A um, couple of YouTube channels that I've been watching lately. Um, I want to mention Four Winds Farm again. Uh, they put out some cracking videos, a mixture of arable and cattle. Um, so if you haven't uh, watched any Four Winds Farm, search for them on YouTube, hit subscribe because um, they, yeah, they do some really good videos. I think you'll really enjoy it. 
Um, another name I want to mention is the Funky Farmer. Uh, he's quite a popular one, but if you don't know him, go and check him out. He does some brilliant videos as well. Um, yeah, really, really enjoy the Funky Farmer. So yeah, cheers for watching everybody. Like I said, fingers crossed for a bit of rain. And um, yeah, I hope you're all keeping safe and keeping well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.